Hi folks, Sonia Ash here from Ash Design. Today I want to talk about Select Subject. This is a nice feature that was introduced into Photoshop CC uh, version 19.1 in January of 2018. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got this photo open here. Um, one way to access the Select Subject tool um, is to go through the Select and Mask. Um, if you were to choose any one of these selection tools here, you will see that Select and Mask and Select Subject are both um, options to choose. So I like to go into Select and Mask first. So we're going to let that open up. Um, so now that this is open, we're going to want to make sure that our transparency um, set that to zero. And now we're just going to go ahead and click the Select Subject button. And what that's going to do um, is it's going to do its best to determine um, where your subject is. And then it should give us a nice little <clears throat> selection. And from there, um, with these tools, we can further refine that selection. So let's see what this does for us. Um, you can see that this did actually complete. One reason we're not seeing it is because we did not choose, we have it on onion skin. Let's put it on marching ants, and that's going to show us our selection here. So that was actually good that we sort of ran into that uh, bit of trouble there and didn't see it. Uh, you just have to change your view. So now that we can see our selection, you can see there's some areas here that need to be addressed. We'd want to remove this area. Um, we probably want to remove, you know, inside the mask here, but overall I think it did a pretty fine job. So we've got our selection tool here. If we want to remove the selection, uh, right now it's set to add. Let's subtract from the selection. And then let's just go ahead and click in here. And you can see that it did remove that selection. Um, but it took away a little bit too much. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back to plus, And let's just add in the areas that we want to keep. That looks pretty good right there. Um, let's head on up here. I noticed in, in the helmet here, there's some areas here that we can remove. So again, um, we'll set that to minus, and we'll want to remove that selection. Move a little bit in here. That's getting a little bit small. I'll see if my Refine Edge tool helps us with that a little bit better there. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the Refine Edge tool, which is right here. And you basically can just, uh, don't make it too awful big. I think that's probably pretty good there. And just go around your edges where it needs a little, a little bit of help. That one seems to want to hang on to that little piece there. I'm going to go back and grab my selection tool. It's set to minus still. And I'm just going to hit that once more. That looks better in there. Okay, so let's go back to our Refine Edge brush. And I'm going to just brush in here. And that's nice. You can see how it took care of that part there. So going around the edges here, we can probably hit that just a little bit right there. Uh, we probably want to, let's go back to our selection tool. Let's grab our plus and let's just add to that selection somewhat right there. And that's looking pretty good. Grab back on our refine edge tool. Uh, right in here, you can see that we that fix that up nicely. Let's go around the laces here and see if we can't fix this a little bit better in here. That's looking pretty good. And it looks like we can add a little bit more to this selection. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. So let's just hit on that a little. That's looking better. I'm going to zoom back out. Um, and the rest of this is looking pretty good. Um, so now, once I've sort of got my selection in place, I'm going to change the view. I'm going to put it on black because I want to see, you know, how good that selection looks. And you can see there are some areas that probably need to be addressed a little bit in here, small bits in there. A um, couple of ways we can go about it. I like to shift my edge. I want to bring that edge in a little bit. So let's try bringing it in about 10 or so, and we can see sort of what it does to those um, areas didn't seem to do a whole lot. Let's try bumping up our contrast. That usually helps out in those areas. And I'm going to zoom out just a little. 
And I think we can probably up that contrast a little bit more. And you can see that it did do a better job in there. That looks pretty good. And then, um, yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and just click OK here. And what this will do is it will create another layer for us um, with the mask intact over here. And um, I really think for a, a one-click um, selection tool, the Select Subject, um, it's a great way to go, and I encourage you to try it. Mm -hmm.